Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's Nick from Noob Kill coming at you with another NBA Live mobile video. So I do apologize to the NBA Live mobile community. I haven't been posting too many videos in the past couple of weeks. Um, one reason was because of course Madden Mobile started, but I knew I was going to be dropping this huge video on you guys. And I just want to make sure you guys are still hyped and ready for this video. So if you guys follow my boy Cornell on Twitter, he is the NBA Live mobile community manager, but he's been talking about some huge storm that, whoa, Whoa, did you guys just feel that? We just had a little mini earthquake right here talking about the storm. Um, but yeah, guys, I think I'm in a little danger making this video, but I don't care. I got to get you guys the content. There is some huge storm coming your guys' way for NBA Live Mobile. Huge update coming out. A lot of big changes with the UI, gameplay, the layout, all this crazy stuff. Um, but yeah, guys, I was blessed with some footage today to show you guys some of the new things in the next update. Um, so yeah, guys, I'm going to be showing you guys the footage right here, talking about it, then rolling the footage again and talking about some more features. So let's go ahead and roll the clip. So here we go, guys. You guys can already see the palette of the paint um, of the pause button has changed to black. The buttons have changed as well. We still have the same drive, pass, and shoot button. Um, but yeah, guys, you guys see the shot clock has changed. It's now red. I think they should change that. Um, but if we go back there, if we go back, go backwards right there, you guys see over the guy that's number 50 on my team, there's a little basketball on top of his head. And if you guys are wondering, is that a little glitch? What is that about? Now I'm going to drop some huge big news on you guys because in the next update get ready for this they're gonna be dropping alley oops in the game so you can now throw alley oops yourselves no more of the cpu cheese only throwing alley oops you can now do alley oops yourself and it, how you do it how you execute it is you slide your finger over the drive button and to the pass button so he will throw the alley oop now you don't have to hold the drive button you just gotta flick over so that is pretty cool but of course how this all works out is still realistic guys you can't have your center throwing half court alley oops his passing rating will play a into the alley oop and of course the player and the size i'm guessing and the players around them will also factor in so you can't have your center throwing a full court alley oop to your point guard like isaiah thomas who's 510 and trying to do an alley oop over javel mcgee or something so oh maybe that'll happen over javel mcgee because that's javel mcgee but um you gotta be realistic guys you can't be throwing alley oops to um smaller players and having your centers or players with bad passing ratings throw the alley oops um so keep that into mind but yeah alley oops are in the game let's keep rolling the footage so yeah we're gonna go here and we're gonna miss the lip we're gonna miss the layup here i can't believe it um but yeah guys the ui has gotten smarter as well they're gonna be playing better ball they're gonna play better uh defense and all that stuff so season mode is gonna be a little more tougher which is really great you always want some challenge with this now i'm gonna pause right here again um we did steal the ball Taj gibson does get the ball back but in this footage Rosters are not updated just yet. I believe when the new season of NBA does come out and I probably in the next update, maybe even in this next update, we will get brand new roster updates. So you guys can see Derrick Rose is still here. Pau Gasol is still here. Pau should be on the Spurs. Derrick Rose should be on the Knicks and there should be D Wade on the team as well. Um, but let's roll the footage some more. Let's fast forward a little bit um, as they're going to go and Pau Gasol is just going to dunk it on us, man. He's just going to dunk it on us. So the gameplay feels really smooth. I had a little chance of, I guess, um, playing it while I was down in Orlando. But um, let's keep on rolling the footage because something's about to pop up. So here we go. He's going to go ahead and shoot that and miss. But see how a little notification popped up and told us good look, but off, tar uh, off targets. I guess there is going to be um, a shot notification and telling you guys if your shot is good, if you're, if you're making a smart shot, and if it's on target of course so what that really means of course it was a good look because he was open but it was off target because he missed now what that means if if you got like all five players on the other team guarding one man and you take that shot that is definitely not going to be a good look you should have passed the ball up um so that's what it's going to be all about so let's keep on rolling the footage uh let's fast forward a little bit right here and he's going to shoot it Paul Gasol is going to shoot that and Jimmy Butler got the bucket and it looks like the artwork for that Jimmy Butler card has changed I don't believe I remember seeing that two-way Jimmy Butler in the game so pictures could be updated as well oh well we're getting smashed here man <laughs> eight to two what is going on here uh we're gonna pass the ball and you guys see passing the ball is gotten a lot better passing it around perimeter you know before you would get picked off they would intercept the ball or your ball would get slapped and go out of bounds so you guys see passing around the perimeter of course passing passing around the perimeter is usually safe and is still good to do so they clean that up a lot um but we got four seconds left on the shot 
clock. We're holding it. He's going to go ahead and pull up. And what's going to happen? And he's going to miss. And look what it says. It says off balance. So that is actually really good shot feedback right there. He was kind of off balance. He did a little fade away. So that tells us why we missed the shot. So that is pretty smart we still get that animation where you get bodied a little bit going into the paint but that is kind of realistic you should get bodied when you're trying to drive in the paint with a with a center or power forward on you um but yeah mike miller got the ball right here what is he gonna do he's gonna alley-oop it and he's gonna miss it and let's pause that right there and yeah so right there uh mike miller's passing is 59 and i guess our other guy didn't have a really good alley-oop um stats so we got an unsuccessful um alley-oop and it says the green and red i wish they was like madden mobile when you try to truck somebody there's a little bar that that indicates hey this is a good truck and it stays in the green and hey this is a bad truck and it goes out into the red so maybe that they should add that little line that kind of tells you hey you got it good it's in the green and you got the alley-oop or hey it's in the red um it's unsuccessful instead of just saying unsuccessful you want to see that as well so that is pretty cool to added that so you guys just kind of saw that alley-oop and actually let's kind of go back because you can kind of see the buns get highlighted uh right here so you guys see he you guys can see right there the drive and the play buns getting pressed at the same time because he swept his finger over and we threw the alley-oop so we're just gonna go ahead and fast forward this gameplay um because not too much has changed we get a bucket finally right there um but yeah taj gibson does get the bucket and let's pause it right here so here's another ui change um with the colors and all that other stuff so yeah guys that has changed we're gonna go ahead and play this and yeah that we're gonna go ahead and get into the next menu and look at that we did level up so there is that and we'll keep on rolling through um so you guys see right here they did take away the three dots in the top hand right corner um just like they did in madden mobile so now to find settings it will be in this side tab and it's going to be all the way at the bottom so you guys see that achievements are down there as well um so yeah and we're gonna go ahead and go to the settings and go to change team so look how nice this looks guys that looks so sick the logos have been updated more 3ds and if the logo has changed on the team i believe they're updated as well now my boy he's gonna go ahead and pick the warriors right here so of course none of the progress will be lost um so yeah he picks the warriors right there then we're gonna go to the live events and you guys see they brought the carousel to mb live mobile so you now can just swipe through all of the live events instead of moving around in the map um so there is that now the map has not really changed of course but um the palette of the color has changed as well and yes we still got toronto kind of still there canada still there so i'm happy about that um but yeah guys that is the video um there is actually there look at that right there at the right left hand corner there's no objectives so maybe there's gonna be weekly objectives that you guys have to do that is pretty interesting i'm i'm pretty shocked about that i did not know about that i'm just finding that out looking at this picture right here or this video but yeah guys i will be playing this video again and if you guys want to bust out and pull out a sherlock home and look at and break down every single millisecond of the video be my guest but i'm be break, i'm talking about some other new features so make sure when you're watching you guys are listening in um but let's go ahead and roll this clip once again so yeah um so yeah guys so brand new things like we said there's new alley-oops um shot feedback is there there's also steal and um, block feedback so if you're trying to block some guy uh, of course your blocking stat how tall your player is all that will go into effect and then next for stealing the ball it would be against your steal i guess stat towards their dribbling stats so you want to look for people your ball handlers will have really good dribbling stats and of course um if they're stealing the ball they have really good steal stats and how you guys would like to see that i don't think they have all the stats on the cards just yet but go ahead and hit up um nba live.gg um they have the full breakdown of course guys but yeah guys there is a steal feedback shot feedback alley-oop mechanics uh driving into the net um it's more realistic you don't get bodied as much you still get bodied as you guys saw but um i think they toned it down especially when before um i had shaquille o'neal and he was driving into the paint and he got bodied by isaiah thomas 5 8 shaquille o'neal 7 something Sha shaquille o'neal 350 pounds isaiah thomas like 180 maybe not even that so yeah that was a little weird so they did change that late game ai changes now guys so if you're in the fourth quarter you're leading by two they're gonna be playing a lot more defense they're gonna be pressing more i think they might have added full court presses i have no idea but they will be um 
playing better defense and of course um that is a big thing now rebounds have been fixed the rebounds will be awarded to i guess the player and you guys can see right there um stuff like that so shot meter has been improved um post player meter has been improved as well and of course when you fade away there is that feedback so um you guys will know if you're trying to fade away it's going to tell you if it's a good fadeaway, if it's a bad fadeaway, if you're releasing the time bad. Um, But yeah, guys, that's about it that I want to show you guys just yet. I will be talking more about the storm. Make sure you go ahead and follow me at NoobKill213 on Twitter and my boy Cornell. I'll leave his Twitter in the comment section below. Um, But yeah, guys, tell me guys what you think. Are you guys hyped about the new update in NBA Live Mobile? Um, I really want to say thank you guys so much for watching. You guys know what to tune into for everything NBA Live Mobile and that's right here on the channel I want to thank you guys for watching please hit that subscribe button leave a like on this video and i'll catch you guys soon peace that's what it oh, 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 oh. let's go